Hi, welcome to Excel tutorial of a sales dashboard system. Let me show you guys how this works. Right up here, I have a line chart. But I can always find out more information about this line chart by clicking on the subtract sign here. Okay, you can find out information about what's going on where we have more sales here. And as you can see, it happens to be cubic. Now let's go back. Right here is the map of Canada. And here, more sales about what's going on in each of those territory. And here, we have a bar chart of whatever sales is happening in those territory. So, right underneath here, we also have some buttons there. If we click on any of these buttons that will actually give us a more defined information about the sales in those area and that's for the northwest territory that's for British Columbia and let's see that of Quebec there we can also return back to our original information on the chart there we go by clicking on the filter here and that's why this dashboard is an interactive one so what I'm going to do now is to take you straight into Excel development environment I'm, and we put one of these together let's do that now guys welcome back to Excel tutorial of my dashboard system now I'm going to start a new one entirely and right here let's select the state just press Control A to select it all now the next thing I'm going to do is make sure insert is clicked on the insert tab here and just select pivot table and what we do is let's select make sure new worksheet is selected click on OK now we are on sheet number two sheet number one that's where the data are. sheet number two that's where the new pivot table is so what I'm going to do now is I want to draw out the map so to do that I will select the column for the states and I will then select the cost okay cost of item there select the cost of item and here I'm going to have to select these data that I've, that I've just generated using the pivot table because I cannot create my map there if you guys want to verify that let's go to insert and select map there that's an error the system is actually asking us to copy as you can see here copy the data click on ok so control C copy that very data come right below here paste the data now we can go back to the map and let's create our Canadian map okay if you want you can change the, the background of the map that's what I want I'm going to change it to that and if you want to improve carry out any more modification on that very map is either you use this particular one to modify it okay drop this down sequence color let's select the, the three and come right here change that and let's see what color we're going to go for you see that so we can also change these other colors to whatever we choose to or to whatever we want there that is how it looks now but the color seems to look exactly the same so I'm going to change one of them change that to that very color okay that's how you can carry out the modification there all right let's go back to our data right there okay we're going to now create another pivot table select insert pivot table click on new there so the next one is I'm going to create a line chart for the line chart I'm going to select the state and then followed by sales coordinator and the cost of state sales I will now go to insert let's select pivot chart okay and let's select the line right there okay click on OK let's see column line click on OK that is the line chart we can just drag it that much 
so that is that now that that is created let's go back to sheet number one we now want to create a pie chart let's come up to insert again and pivot table actually want to create a pivot chart now I've got one here select this and what I want the chart to look like is I want it to be a pie chart a pie chart really so let's go for states and total cost okay so the chart that I want I want it to be a pie chart there we go and I'm going to select this click on OK there I have my pie chart now I'm going to go back to my sheet number one create another pivot chart make sure new worksheet is selected and we now want to select the following the state the cost of item and number of item sold there now let's create bar chart come right here that is a bar chart there okay and just click on ok there there we go now we have all the chart we intend to use on the map for our tutorial I'm going to close this now let's create add another worksheet here that's sheet number six so in there I'm just gonna call that dashboard so that we know where our dashboard is there we go now let me come back in here you see the map I'm gonna copy that very map control C copy it go straight to the dashboard and paste that right there there we go we had the very first one there the next one is I'm going to copy this line line chart control C copy and paste it right here let's move this down a little bit now the next one that I need is the pie chart control C copy go to the dashboard and paste and finally bear chart control C and paste it right there so I have all the chart that I intend to use for is enough I'm now just going to drag this along that's about that and move this in a little bit there okay now what I want to do is you see these lines that we have in here I want to get rid of it so let's go to page layout okay that is it I'm gonna get rid of these cells and I will get rid of the headings the headings right here that's it the headings gone and let's get rid of the grills there we go now you see the background color I'm gonna change the background color to something dark so go back to home and just select this let's select it all control all and just select it all that's it the background is now black now the next thing you want to do is you see this very chart here and now I want to make the background transparent double click on it and this format chart area appears click on the field and where we have no field click that and there we go now we cannot see the text but before then let's get all of the other charts to become no field and this other one no field as well so all we just need to now do is to make sure the text we have on it can be visible so let's go back to home select whatever color you want to use so I'm going to set you for the yellow color there we go and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other chart come in here 
repeat exactly the same thing and the other one here select change that to that let's increase the font size to about 11 this one 11 as well and this one make that 11 as well there we go guys it's looking good you see this very one maybe we can delete what with whatever we have in there let's get rid of it all right select this we can come in here and just i think it's right here let's come right right here get it centered yeah that's it it's more well pronounced now okay one more thing that we need to do right here can you see this chat okay let's come back in here okay select the minus there and let's select this line chart once it's selected we now want to change the color of that line chart i think it's right here yeah it is here let's change the color yeah there we go that's fine now the next thing is let's come back in here click on the plus sign that's it and you see where we have total there i'm going to change that to and let's increase the font size to about maybe 20 and just change that to sales sales dashboard let's make it all uppercase there we go guys I think maybe we should make it bold there that is fine alright the next thing now is just to make the whole interface looks much better so I'll come back here move all of this up click and hold and just move it all up and there we go guys now right here the border is missing here let's get a border on board here okay let's find a border for this now click on that let's go to where we have border that is the right there border make that solid let's change the color to that one and change the color of the others where is it solid color instead of white just change it to that and repeat the same thing for the other one here and where is it there's a border and change here yeah. that is it all done and this as well we need to change the border color there and you can close that and now the okay the other thing we now need to do is to make this whole system looks more looks more interactive is we now need to go to insert and we need to select we need to select a slicer right here that's it so I'm going to select the slicer you must select one of these first I've just selected the line chat and I select the slicer so I'm going to select the states and and the next one is going to be the cost of item there click on OK there we go now I have my two slicer there now let's enhance it this one has four rules I'm going to change that to and one column I'm going to change that one column to four columns there okay and there and let's change this one to seven I have seven there so I'm going to change that to seven and there we go guys just design it the way you want and this the size should be about the same the height right there okay that's fine now we bring that down and bring this down here just drag it along yeah maybe drag this a little bit more and bring this in right that's fine then the next thing to make this slicer more interactive is right click on each of the slicer 
and where we have report connection click on that and let's click on this checkbox so that we can communicate between each of those chat there repeat exactly the same thing for this right click report connections and do exactly the same there we go now up here click on that to get rid of the ribbon now take this up and let's click on this let's click on any of those slider you see it's now interactive you can see the communication between every single chat right there and if you want it back you can always click on the filter and that will take you back to the way it was there and that's how you create your own dashboard in Excel so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed please do subscribe and I'm very much happy to welcome you as a member of the channel as well you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.